Damas y caballeros, I am Jesus Rodriguez and welcome. Actually, well, I'm being accompanied by here by, by, the, by the legendary, by the legendary Conan. I, I'm so excited to be a part of this tonight because we have an exclusive, an Aero Lucha exclusive because tonight we have such an exciting match between Mascarita Dorada and Demus. Conan, come on, dime. What do you think? No, but what do you mean, what do I think? You know, you and me both love mini luchadores. I mean, they're smaller in stature, but they're basically diminutive of, of uh, their namesakes, uh, larger size, normal size wrestlers like Mascara Dorada, or uh, um, in Mascarita Dorada's case, and in Demo's case, Damian from Tijuana. And they do things that the normal size wrestlers can't do. They're incredible, they're very creative. And one of the reasons I'm so excited about Aro Lucha is be because we keep talking about this talent pool, this incredible talent pool, and these are two prime examples. I can't wait to see this match. Let's go down to the ring for the action. Ring the bell. Well, now we're starting off the action. We have, we have Demos who's already attacking Mascarita Dorada. Now these guys have, have feuded, they've battled each other all over the world. Yeah, especially in Mexico. Remember, Mascarita Dorada, very tough guy because he got his start in bullfighting, you know, but um, Demos really, here's another thing about Mascarita Dorada that a lot of people may not know. He was one of the Mascarita Sagradas, oh, Casadora in Tuasacada. He was one of the Mascarita Sagradas in AAA. He was also Torito in WWE. Quite a few names. Look at this oh, wow. twirling into a head scissors. <laughs> My head is spinning out of that. Amazing. And he hits him with a tope. And the people love this because it's very rare that you get to see the minis outside of Mexico City. It's definitely a treat for all of us here at Aralucha, that's for sure. And Demos again, as we've seen, uh, as we saw like in the MVP and Sammy Guevara match, he's got uh, the experience, he's got the size, he's got the height, he's got the strength, but Mascarita always finds a way to come out on top. Uh, Reguilete into a backbreaker. No, that's for sure. My, my back hurt from that one. I mean, how, how, much, how much pain and how much tolerance can somebody like Mascarita Dorada take? Well, imagine, he's a guy that's, you know, been fighting bulls since he was a little kid. And as a matter of fact, he's still doing that to this day because it's a family um, tradition. His brothers are into this, and so he's actually in Mexico City. As we speak, he's actually turning around with the mini toreros. That's incredible. That's actually something I did not know. So, hey, you know what? You learn something new every day. And the people don't like demos. They don't like the way he's treating Mascarita Dorada. He's a favorite, especially of the kids. Incredible. You know, I've seen him in some meet and greets and how the kids come up to him and they hug him and they want to play with him. And it's really a, a sight to see. Look at him, spanking him. Come on, you don't come do on. that. You don't do that to a man. That's so disrespectful. What do you think about this atmosphere in Auto Lucha? What do you think about the people that came here to see the best Lucha Libre? I tell you what, it's something completely different and something that is so refreshing, so amazing to, to see how involved and how, how a part of the show the, the crowd is. Just, they're here to see something spectacular. They're here to see something special, and I'm pretty sure that's exactly what they're getting. Well, they're very interactive. They like the chant, they like the, you know, uh, root for their favorites, and on top of that, like we've always uh, said, this is a, a family-friendly atmosphere where you see the kids with the parents, and a lot of times with the grandparents. For sure, you can't forget about Abuelita. So he Gorilla presses uh, Mascarita. Oh! oh! Look at that! Ouch! Into the steel turnbuckle. Now that'll definitely take the wind out of here for sure. Whips Mascarita to the corner. Mascarita jumps to the outside, lands on the apron. Springboard, springboard plancha. Only for two counts. <laughs> and now we have here Mascarita toying with demos. Oh, Look wow. at this, this is incredible. Oh, what wow. other wrestler in the world can do that? Mascarita Dorada, that's who. And that's actually, that's the only person. And the person. people are on their feet. Look at them. They appreciate <laughs> and great And Demos can't stay off, you know, stay on his feet. 
comes off the third. Incredible Uracarana to From the outside. The One of the most dangerous things in wrestling. It really is. Ball. Imagine just falling on top of your head. But that's the risk that these guys take. That is, that's what, that's what it's called high risk uh, flying. You hear the people chanting, Lucha, Lucha. Oh, I can definitely, definitely hear it. Dem is trying to get his bearings back. Mascarita trying to take advantage of the fact that he's still groggy. Goes up to the third again. Into a Casadora, turns it into a DDT. Wow, that's amazing. Face plants to Demos. Oh, we go one more time. We are seeing this various rotations once again. He pins him. He's got the victory, Mascarita Dorada. Just like that. It came out of nowhere. Amazing. The accuracy, the agility, the amazing. The amazing abilities that these guys have. They may be short in stature, but they have they are big at heart. Let's take a look at this in slow motion. One, two, three. Three rotations into a pinning combination. And your victor, Mascarita. Look at the people, look how happy they are. This is Aro Lucha. No dejes de luchar. This is incredible, man. I mean, the energy in this building is second to none. I travel all around the world, and I'm going to tell you something. The people are amped. They haven't stopped cheering and clapping since the show started. It's something completely very special. And it, it <laughs> here we have Mascarita just toying with demos. Rightfully so, you know. Well, that's what him expecting him and trying to humiliate her. Now, folks, join us at www.adolucha.com. Mascarita Dorada, going around, shaking everybody's hand. All oh, the kids are happy to see him. What a great sight. Look how happy everybody is. That's the beautiful thing about Lucha Luce. It's about the family. It's about the kids. It's about creating that illusion, creating that magic, that spark. And, and your winner, Mascarita Dorada. Wow, what a great match. So much excitement, so so much energy. Um, <laughs> Conan, come on, what are your thoughts? Bro, did you see some of the moves they did? Nobody in the wrestling industry in Lucha Libre does those moves. I mean, it's incredible. The people were on their feet the whole time. You were on your feet. I, I mean, it. it was incredible. I mean, it doesn't get b any better than that. Most definitely. Guys, everybody at home, thank you so much for joining us. Please be sure, be sure to check us out at www.adolucha.com. And we'll see you on the next one. No dejes de luchar a lucha.